Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about a subject that you think you know like the back of your hand. But can you do this? If you're a new player, don't worry, we have stuff for you too. So video has two sections, first being the basics and the second is about more advanced stuff. So skip to this if you know the basics. So WASD to move around, pretty basic stuff and you can hold shift while moving to sprint. Since there is no limit to how much you can sprint, you should be holding this button every time you want to move on foot. Press space to jump and press space again mid air to do a double jump. You can press shift to roll. Roll prevents any knockback. There is plenty of stuff that can knock you back in Warframe. A good example is lasers and MOA slam attack. So if you roll into them, you won't be knocked back. Also, for the entirety of the roll duration, you will have an 85% damage reduction, which is a very sweet thing to have. Now here we get to the most useful movement tool, the fastest way of moving around, which is bullet jumping. If you hold control and press space, you will bullet jump towards your aim. There is a special kind of bullet jump that will let you easily reach high places. To use it, look up or down when you want to bullet jump. If you hold aim or right mouse button while you're mid-air, you will aim glide. Aim glide will hold your current momentum and you will fall down much slower. There's a very annoying stagger if you hit the ground too fast. There are two ways to prevent it. One is to aim glide before you hit the ground real quick and it doesn't matter if you have aim glided before or not and the other which is probably the more favorable option is the key control. The key control is the slide key. While moving around if you hold control you will slide and slide prevents staggers. So yeah, hold control before you hit the ground and you will not be staggered. You can press space next to a wall to do a wall run. You can also go direction plus space to do a directional wall run. This will come in handy later. Okay, so to move around quickly, we use a certain movement chain. It goes like bullet jump, double jump, aim glide, roll. So very quickly, bullet jump, double jump, aim glide, roll. With that out of the way, let's talk more in depth. So bullet jump is highly directional. Best for movement would be a 45 degree bullet jump since it covers the longest distance. You can start a bullet jump mid air. Only thing that can stop you from bullet jumping is if you double jump before you do a bullet jump. In that case you won't be able to bullet jump until you hit ground or reset. I'll talk about resetting later in the video. Let's talk about roll. I noticed a lot of people don't know this, initially it was supposed to be in starter stuff, but here we are. Try holding aim and then press direction plus shift. So if you press backwards with shift, you will do a backflip and left and right to do the side rolls. While we have no major use for these on ground, they are amazing for changing your momentum made air. Left and right are pretty self-explanatory, you can use them to go a bit to the left or right. And the backflip is used to reduce your forward momentum. This can be useful when you want precise jumps or if you mistakenly jumped in the wrong direction. You can quickly do a backflip which is way faster than waiting to hit the ground and bullet jumping back. So aim glide. Aim glide maintains all your momentum except for upwards momentum which will be nullified. This can come in handy more than one would think. It can prevent going over where you want it to by cancelling your upward momentum. This can be specifically useful when you want to go up but not as much as your bullet jump goes. And it could be that the distance is just a bit more than a double jump. And if you have increased parkour velocity, this problem will be much more in your face. Stuff like Titania's passive, Arcane Consequence or Arcane Agility and some others that are also capable of doing that are good examples of it. Aim Glide can give you full control over your upward momentum with great precision. Another thing about Aim Gliding. When you're in aim glide, after you did the usual stuff like roll and bullet jump, you can actually utilize on slide. You don't believe me? Try doing aim glide and then slowly moving forward and then suddenly control plus back. I know it doesn't make sense, but it works for changing your direction a bit. Well, technically speaking, that's not exactly how it works, 
it's a bit overly complicated at certain scenarios which you can make but those never happen in real gameplay what you need to know is if your aim gliding control plus the left or right can change your direction by quite a bit now let's talk about wall running the moment you hit a wall or get very close to it you can press space plus direction to wall run in that direction upward left and right are clear but did you know that you can wall run backwards that is the best of wall runs you will know why after i talk about resetting so now let's talk about slam attacks to be honest even i didn't count this slam attack as a movement tool before i researched it Hell, this video was almost made without it, so it's good for getting you to ground quickly. And that should be it, right? Wrong! It can launch you forward for quite a distance. If you try doing a normal slam attack, it's hard to cheese out the maximum possible angle. But if you do a heavy attack, well, it will do it for you. Just aim forward and heavy attack, and bam! you will go forward three times the height you had from ground that is if you are on a flat surface this is not exactly a replacement for bullet jumping and stuff but i did not expect it to be this effective so i thought i must mention it so resetting i call anything that can reset your current parkour status mid-air a reset in simpler words you did your bullet jump roll and aim glide and then you reset and now you can bullet jump roll and aim glide again one of the easiest ways to reset is to wall run. After you wall run, you will be able to bullet jump again and all the other good stuff. When you do it right, it feels more like you're flying than you're doing parkour. The other parkour reset is operator. If you jump into your operator and then back to your wall frame, you're reset. Though beware, unlike wall running, this reset only works once. To use it again, you need to hit the ground. Operator and wall run are the only universal resets. The rest involve warframe abilities, which usually are not nearly as useful as these two. So, Neja's second ability, Blazing Chakram. When you recast the ability and teleport to the ring, you will reset. Wukong's Cloudwalker. This one is a hell of a movement ability by itself and will do a reset allowing you to do a movement chain after it runs out before recasting it. Also this ability not only resets your parkour status but also resets your operator status. So if you use this ability you can use your operator again even if you don't hit the ground. Interestingly enough this way you can completely forget about the ground and always be mid air if you want. Titania's Razor Wing. Now this one is something that the reset is not exactly something you would do, but it works so I will mention it. This ability also happens to reset operator too, but given Titania 4 is a drain power, you can't do what Wukong can. Wisp's teleport remote also does reset your parkour status, but given how you have to put the mods down first, it's not useful at all. Nyx's fourth ability, Absorb. It does the reset, same problem as before. Protea's fourth ability, Temporal Anchor, also does the reset, but again, same problem. Anyone who came here to learn useful stuff? this is your call to leave the video because it's not gonna be useful from here on now let me show you a few stupid and totally pointless things you can do with parkour just for the hell of it I will perform and let you guess how it's done now this first one is pretty simple first you roll wait why am I rolling backward oh wow did my forward roll just bug out how about left and right are they backward too let's see Yep, game is ruined. I wonder how backflip will do. Yep, I'm backflipping forward. I guess I have to contact D right away. I parkoured so much, I broke it. Well, as you might have thought, that wasn't a bug, and it was just me doing that. It's actually really simple. 
but you need to be pretty fast and precise to make it look believable. The key is to slide. If you slide in the opposite direction of the roll you just did super duper fast, the game won't show the slide animation and you will just do a roll in the wrong direction. You know how Zephyr is capable of flying? Well, my Zephyr seems a bit disabled. She can only fly this much. This one is way easier than the first one and it actually has nothing to do with Zephyr. You bullet jump at an angle and then immediately aim right, so the bullet jump animation doesn't show up. You know how Valkyr is like a little kitty? Guess what? She can go up walls with all four. She first uses her claws and then shoots herself upwards. Just look at this. I assume everyone watching this got how I did the last one. And that's all the stupid stuff I had in me for now. So you watched all the video up until the very end. May I interest you in some other videos that you can also watch on the channel? If you wanna, they're right here. See you guys later and bye bye!